Tonight I'm replacing a turn signal multifunction switch in this Impala. I think it's a 2003. It won't stay engaged. Fingers work, but it won't stay on high beam. So we're going to take it out and replace it with that. Pull off the fuse panel cover. Pull that off. There it goes. Gotta remove this little gizmo here. I don't recall how they come off. I think they just pull right off. Remove this protective cover down below. There's a couple of tabs you gotta push in to make it release. Kind of lay it down below so you get the appropriate socket. And now you're going to remove this panel from under the steering wheel. It's a 7mm. Uh, seven, seven millimeter socket. Two screws. One near the hood release and one on the other side. Unfasten the wires for the trunk release so you can get it out of your way. Proceed to take the cover off of the steering column. That screw is, is the forward hole. A couple of quick turns with a Torx bit. You have to pull the, the tilt lever knob out of it. It's, uh, it's got some pretty good latches on it. So you're going to have to put some uh, serious pull on it, but it'll pull straight out. Just get your finger in behind it and just give it a good a good uh, solid pull and it'll come right off. And you pull the column cover off. There you go. Alright. Tilt the column back down. You can do it by just putting your finger on this and pulling toward, toward you. Once you do that, pull the top cover off. The top cover is retained by some little tiny screws that are inverted, meaning they go straight up into the cover. And you need a four millimeter socket will do it. I know it's not the correct cool but it works. Once you get those two screws out, the cover should come right off. That is if you actually get them loose. There they are. There it is. Lay it up on top of the dash. Now we can see how this is bolted on. There's some screws up front. Seem like they might be a little more a little hairy to get to. There's one down there and there appears to be one on the top. We're going to remove those. There we go. The Torx head. Once again. Pretty convenient actually since most of it is Torx. All of it is. Well except for the screws on the lower panel. Those are seven millimeter screws. We take these two screws out, this one on the top of the switch, and this one here in the front. Now this might be fun to get to. You know those little cheap socket sets you get? With the tips in them and the Phillips and all that, it's time to drag those dogs out and find that 20, number 20 Torx. And in your toolbox, get that quarter inch wrench and put it on the end of the Torx. Now 
put it up here in an appropriate place for that, that screw because you're going to need to be able to get some leverage on it. It's tight. There we go. Once you get it loose, you can remove that and get your plain old socket wrench that you had earlier. If you try to take it off any other way, you're going to end up damaging the socket head in there and you'll have a really hard time. That should be loose. Now, we need to unplug the harness that that took to. And if you look in the hole, you'll see a couple of uh, plastic ties. One there cabling it to the airbag stuff. And then there's another one deeper up in there. Unfasten all the little plastic ties. Find the end. There'll be three plugs on it. Unplug that switch. Plug the new one back in. And reassemble. I want to show you guys this connector. I feel like it's... you got to get under the car pretty good. In the carpet. On the dash. Under the floor. you got to get down here so you can see things. Yeah, where is it down there? Because under the dash, there's a gizmo here that holds the connector. And I uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to get you enough light in here, but you got to pull this down, unlatch it. Got some kind of catch on it. It snapped in, see? There you go. You can see how that's. That's constructed. What a dog. He got it. It's got a catch on it. Alright. So you're going to take two hands. You're going to have to squeeze these black doodads in together on the ends. And then you can release this lever. Let me see if you can see it while I do it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. I'm because I can't see my camera and latch it and then you pull that white lever back pull it back that direction and then you get a couple of more pull it apart just like that all right and cut that plastic tie you don't want to mess with this yellow wire that's the airbag you don't want to jack with it do not damage it don't hurt it don't cut it don't disconnect it I would suggest you consult the service manual if you have any questions. That is the majority of the situation. Go back together with it and you should have a function. After all that was unplugged and untied, it came, came to apart quite easy. Just uh, run your new cable up through the hole. Plug everything in. Bolt her down in the reverse order and try the function. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. I'm almost out of time on my memory card, and my battery is nearly dead, or I'd walk you through the reassembly. But it's pretty straightforward. If you can take it apart, you can surely put it back together. Y'all have a great day.